prince and princess, animals that her people enchanted. Where can they be? Witches on their broomsticks way up high they sail. Over big bed wolves on each hill and dale in a fairy tale. Fly away to magic lands of fantasy. Sail to those enchanted lands across the sea. There's a land that's far away where folks live happy ever after in the fairy tale. From the Brothers Grimm, the tale of the wolf and the seven kids. Once upon a time, at the edge of a meadow, there stood a house made of stone. In the house lived a mother goat and her seven kids. The little goats, or kids, loved to spend their days playing in the meadow. If one was hurt, Mother Goat would dry its tears and do everything a good mother does for her children. For she loved them very much, and they loved her. They were happy living together in the meadow. But in the woods nearby was a hungry wolf. Oh, I'll get you yet. Now the wolf felt hungrier than ever. He hadn't eaten for days. Now, kids, you listen carefully. While I'm out shopping, you must not allow anyone to come into the house, understand? The wolf may come and try to pretend he's someone else. But he has a hoarse voice. And, and brown paws. And that's how you can tell it's the wolf. Be sure not to let him in. We won't, Mother. Certain that the seven kids would remember her warnings, Mother Goat left. <laughs> what luck. I'll have seven tasty dinners. <laughs> Open the door. This is Mother Children. I'm back. I brought each of you a present. The seven kids laughed. They knew that hoarse voice belonged to the wolf. Well, what are you laughing at? Come and open the door. We won't. You're not Mother. That isn't Mother's voice at all. You are the wolf. Huh? Oh, the big bad wolf has got, got no, no choice. choice. But he, he must, must be, be with a baby hoarse voice. <laughs> I see by your sign you're a druggist. Well, give me some medicine that will cure my hoarse voice <coughs> and make it clear. Now! made the poor man cover his paws with flour till they were white. Hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> this time, with a clear voice and white paws, those kids will surely think I'm Mother Goat. <laughs> Open the door. It's your mother, kid. I'm home from shopping, and I brought a present for each one of you. The kids were expecting another trick from the wolf. We have to be certain you're really our mother, so first show us your paws. <laughs> yes, 
very good. You remember that the paws of the wolf are brown. <laughs> well, here are mine. As you see, they're white as milk. Good! It's, it's really Mother this time. <laughs> open the door for Mother. Well, hurry, open it. Come in, Mother. <laughs> of hide-and-seek before dinner. <laughs> swallowed six kids. Oh. He thought he had eaten them all. But the seventh kid, the youngest, was hiding in the clock. Oh, what shall I do? He'll certainly get me next. The wolf was full and fat. All he wanted to do now was enjoy a nap. <laughs> Soon afterward, Mother Goat returned. <gasps> what a sight <gasps> greeted her. Oh, my. What could have happened? She searched for her children and called each by name. None replied. Children, Mother's here now. Mother's here. The youngest kid, fearing another trick, remained silent at first. Then, peeking through the cabinet, he could see his mother. Mother, Mother, I'm in the clock. <gasps> oh, my youngest, my baby. Tell me what happened. The wolf tricked us, Mother. Oh. The youngest kid explained how the wolf had come in and eaten all the others. Mother Goat wept for her four little ones. Then she went to look for the wolf. And there he was, stretched out under a tree in the meadow, sound asleep. Suddenly, something began stirring and struggling inside his swollen stomach. The kids, they're still all right. Mother Goat sent the youngest kid to get her scissors, needle, and thread. Then she carefully snipped an opening large enough for the other kids to escape. How happy they were. But now, Mother Goat had a plan. She told the kids to fetch some large stones. Quickly, the stones were placed in the wolf's stomach. Then Mother Goat sewed the opening so carefully, the sleeping wolf didn't wake up. have a drink of water. Oh, they're heavy as stones. When the wolf reached the pond and bent over to drink, the heavy stones pulled him forward and over. The goats returned to their home in the meadow they love so well, where they would live happily ever after.